Well, I thought I should pass by this evening and uh, give you this update on uh, the Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Now, the media fraternity is mourning the death of a journalist Samba, who has been working with Bukede TV. He passed on today, and uh, according to his workmates, he was very okay. He was even at work today. Actually, it said that he just fell down, and before they knew it, he was gone forever. And uh, very many people on different social media platforms have elogized him as a great guy. May his soul rest in peace. Now, Uganda police has heeded to public pressure and unconditionally released the eight Arsenal supporters who were arrested as they took to the streets to celebrate their 3-2 victory over Manchester United. This story has been trending so big time. It was even shared on uh, BBC's social media platforms. Meanwhile, a retired AIGP, Asan Kasinje, through his Twitter platform, lambasted police in Jinja for being brutal on innocent Ugandans who were just celebrating their sports victory. But also other reports have revealed that police in Jinja thought these were NUP supporters and that is why they swung into action and arrested them. Actually, Bobby Wine has also commented on this story and he said when a dictatorship is in its final stages, even a simple victory match looks like a political uprising. <laughs> anyway, good enough, they are now out of jail. I think they can now celebrate their victory silently. Now, Bobby Wine supporters who were arrested by police in Jinja on charges of unlawful assembly have been denied bail and remanded to Chirinya prison till next month on the 6th. Police says they did not inform them on their meeting, which was political, and so they have to face the charges. Uganda Human Rights Commission well, that's it on the Buzz UG this evening. I thought I should pass by and I give you this update. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula and don't forget to subscribe but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Have a good night. Audio Jungle.